Prime Minister of Turkey Bin Ali Yildirim meets United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres are at the United Nations headquarters in New York, United States on November 9, 2017. Anadolu Agency Turkish Prime Minister Bin Ali Yildirim and his sons have filed a lawsuit for damages in the amount of TL 500,000 against the Cumhuriyet Daily for publishing a story on the Paradise Papers, which include documents about the offshore investments of Yildirim's family. According to Cumhuriyet, Bin Ali Yildirim and his sons Erkam Yildirim and Bülent Yildirim accused the Daily of attacking their personal rights and preparing a story with special emphasis on insulting and ridiculing. The only suit for damages against the Paradise Papers, which revealed the offshore investments of 126 politicians and leaders around the world, was filed by Bin Ali Yildirim, come her yet said in an online story. According to the documents published by the International Consortium of Investigative Journalists ICIJ on November 5, Erkam Yildirim and Bülent Yildirim are the adult sons of the Prime Minister Yildirim, whose family made its fortune in the shipping industry. The brothers are the sole shareholders of two companies registered in Malta Hawke Bay Marine Co. Limited, which was set up in April 2004 and according to public records owns and manages shipping vessels and Black Eagle Marine Co. Limited, incorporated in January 2007. Prime Minister Yildirim on Tuesday confirmed the documents, saying nothing illegal took place and that his sons have no immunity from an investigation. Navigation is a global business they his sons do business all over the world. This is not a hidden issue. The media are trying to play with the perception that there is something secret about this business, Yildirim. Since I am a politician, it is exotic for them to do stories on my children's activities. I have immunity, but my children do not. I am saying here that all kinds of investigations can be launched. But a motion filed by an opposition party to investigate claims in the Panama Papers, which included documents about offshore investments of Prime Minister Yildirim's family, was rejected on Wednesday in Parliament by the votes of the ruling Justice and Development Party AKP. An investigation into Bin Ali Yildirim's family enterprise, part of the European Investigative Collaborations EIC Malta Files, revealed in May that his family currently possesses shipping and related assets of well over 100 million euros, according to reports on the Black Sea.eu and MediaPart.fr news websites. Yildirim's family enterprise consists of 11 foreign flagged ships nested in a network of secretive companies in Malta, the Netherlands, and the Netherlands Antilles, specifically now Curacao, with more suspected in the Marshall Islands and Panama. At least four of the ships are financed with huge loans from Swiss and Turkish banks, including one part owned by the Turkish state. The Black Sea website discovered that Yildirim's son, daughter, uncle and nephews have purchased seven properties in the Netherlands, worth over $2.5 million, all of which were paid for in cash. The investigation also uncovered how the Yildirims used one of these Dutch companies to anonymously donate €600,000 to the municipality of Pendik, near Istanbul, for a lavish new mosque. Liked it take a second to support Turkish Minute on Patreon.